what's your thoughts about audience engagement when it comes to your podcasts? With Hear It and Have You Got Five Minutes, actually, it was all through my, my personal and how it's like personal kind of like social media worlds. And I only sort of stripped out a separate Twitter for Hear It and Instagram for Hear It just because I thought it keeps the repository of the content there and it's just focused it's not a key thing like I must grow those channels but it gives it a destination (laughs) yeah I think I do have some engagement like if I tag about an an episode or someone goes I'd love to hear that interview there's an article out last week and I was like tagging the person who wrote it because I was like I'd love to get you on the podcast well it's really interesting and then a few of the people who listen were like pestering them for me which is great um I think I think engagement is really key but it's got to be natural and I think if it feels like like you don't want to yeah it would be odd i think the podcasters that do it really well are the ones where if someone tweets about or posts about the con- piece of content they liked it's just like courteous to go like oh thanks so much for listening or like really interested equally i guess if someone listened and didn't like it where do you draw the line at discourse on that what feels comfortable like i don't yeah. have a particularly controversial podcast have you had any trolls no touch wood no no i haven't actually but you, you never know. Like, I think there's just, yeah, the ways to handle it. I think, and I know my brother's a journalist, right? So he's um, had trolls previously about stuff. And I think um, the way he's often handled it, and Greg James has got a really great recent example of this. Uh, he talked about, I think he'd made fun of the fact, Greg James um, from Radio 1, um, that Elon Musk, the, the rocket launch was a bit I of a flop. That, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so all these like massive Elon fans were like, what have you done apart from have like a sense of humour of a 12 year old? And like, but he just started retweeting them, which was just, like really, really <laughs> funny. Because all these people were like, this is just ridiculous. Like it can, I know people have had really bad online trolling, um, particularly women working in sport actually uh, in journalism. And it is constant and awful. And reporting it is obviously really important and I wouldn't say you retweet all of them but I think it's almost like letting your own audience kind of support you in that and yeah. it's almost like you don't get into the debate on that I've had a few I'd, I had a troll actually I'd written a blogged about it's from a blog rather than a podcast I'd blogged about the rise in vaping among teens in the UK so one in five 15 year olds vape yeah. the rates are really high and like you know China have now stopped the sale of flavored vapes in the country full stop because they recognize that's becoming addictive but they sell it across the world so the, the call is like look if it's getting people off smoking great but actually yeah. it is becoming a thing in itself and the shops that my blog was basically saying you know the, the way that shops are positioned and i know because my kids will pass it like can we go in that toy shop because they've got fidget toys and like all these other things and i was like it's really inappropriate and then i got a, a wave of american pro vape <laughs> Uh, is that a thing like people going like you what you, you're now discriminating people that adults that might need fidget toys and i'm like fuck off so i kind of went you're pro vaping like cool my point is about uk this these are stats that's my point yeah. but really trolls aren't really interested in your point it's just yeah, like just they caught they said i was spouting fishing, aren't they yes yeah, i'm spouting like duh, 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 and like lies and if if basically it was a veiled threat that if you were someone else you you want to be careful because I might do something like to to highlight your your lies, <laughs> and yeah. I was just like, I think I put something like, "Are you okay, hun?" or something stupid like, "I'm," because I was just like, "Come on now!" And loads of people were like, "Wow, okay," and that's that's one little troll thing. And I I haven't had anything from the podcast. Yeah, I've just thinking about another one actually. So two years ago, there was something around exclusion rates for young people from minority backgrounds were disproportionately higher than basically white students and i was like right this is really like an issue when you particularly layer on the information that most teachers are white in the uk it's like fundamentally an issue and it's talking about it and tagged loads of research in that i've been reading about it I hadn't there wasn't an article i was retweeting a research report right. and i just had an opinion on it going back to having an opinion and yeah, this yeah. one guy basically went for me <laughs> and before i'd even responded well, a woman who follows me had went not today satan and then loads of people had basically said like what's your problem and i was like amazing like i said so it's kind of oh, good they were jumping in to defend you yeah and just like this guy was being racist right so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was just one of those it's just interesting kind of responses and again i think yeah not get too embroiled in it but yeah there's me going no i haven't had a troll but yeah not on the podcast but yeah <laughs> being opinionated with the blog or even just retweeting can be yeah joyous 